I think Rishi Sunak is half right. I mean, if you just inject a stimulus into an economy where there's already a high level of inflation, uh, the Bank of England is going to put up interest rates. And that's the point that Liz's uh, economic advisor has been pointing out. So he's right on that point. Uh, but the way he goes on about the next generation and debt burdens, I mean, I mean, that is really tired stuff and not relevant. And I happen to agree with Michael Fabrican that one of the things government should be doing is investing, you know, investing in education, in infrastructure, leveling up. And you have to borrow to do that and you have to justify it in, in capital markets. So, but anyway, on the key issue of an unfunded tax cut, uh, I think Rishi Sunak is right. You, you just can't do that until inflation has been brought under control. What you can do uh, is cut taxes, um, or particular taxes, providing you raise the revenue somewhere else. So it's perfectly sensible to cut taxes, say value-added tax, which is inflationary, and you could recoup the revenue by taxing capital. You know, For example, capital gains tax people have done enormously well out of quantitative easing, puffing up asset prices. And if that were taxed to raise the revenue to offset a tax cut on value-added tax, that would make perfect economic sense um, and, and, and would be popular, I think. And what about trustonomics? I mean, do you think they're on solid ground? Does she also have um, a, a good argument when she's talking about the sort of tax cuts she would put in place? Or, or would you be worried that they would only fan the flames of inflation? Well, I, I would. And I, and I do worry more generally about her, uh, although she came across in that debate um, a couple of nights ago as a rather more likable personality than the, Mr. Sunak. Um, I mean, she is terribly light on policy uh, and unconvincing. Uh, I mean, I think the tax policy that she's advocating is wrong at this time. But I think more generally, she it's, you know, she's trading on slogans and sound bites in a very worrying way. I mean, this 20% cut in crime, I mean, you know, one of the things we've learned is that people sitting in Whitehall issuing targets, I mean, that is silly and it's discredited. And, and unfortunately, her whole policy agenda is, 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 is rather lightweight. And I fear that, I don't fear, but I suspect that Keir Starmer and Ed Davey are rather relieved to see what their potential competition is like.